Apple just released their new laptops coming in with the MacBook Pro, their all new M3 processor, and it gotta be great for music production, right? You got three nanometer chips, graphic ray tracing, and all new space black aluminum laptops. But today we're gonna talk about what they didn't tell you. Right after the sponsor of today's video, themusicgame.com. If you're a music producer, definitely check out themusicgang.com where there's different templates like the gold sauce to help you with making harder hitting beats faster in FL Studio and also different bundles to help you with making music. Definitely check out the Music Gang, link in the description to pick up your copy to help you with saving your time. Some of the new features with the new Apple products with their brand new laptops. Number one, their new all black aluminum color is super dope. And honestly, you know, I've had matte black laptops that are aluminum or whatever you call it. It also comes with a fingerprint resistant coating on there. Hopefully they have some really nice recording or something like that because using a matte black aluminum laptop, there can be some very negative things that go with it. The coating comes off. Also a new feature with the new MacBook Pros is the fact that it has a brand new screen which is so much better for HDR content. It's gonna be a little bit brighter, so that's really great. And the starting price to get into the M3 family is basically $1,600. If you do wanna go a little bit more cheaper, you can go with the iMac version, which is about $1,200 or $1,300, which does come with the M3 processor. You won't get the M3 Pro or M3 Max in there or anything like that. It should be good enough to use for music production. You get a lot of new performance gains in all these numbers and jumps and hoolies holler it's, it's great but you know we're focusing on how great is this for music production now with these new laptops you can get up to 126 gigabytes of ram which you couldn't do with the m2 processor you can only get like 96 you know either way you know you're gonna have great results you know what i'm saying with music production you know using my m1 pro computer right now that i've been using for a while now i'm only using 16 gigabytes of ram and honestly I could definitely say I'm, I do have some issues here and there, but you know, overall it's not necessarily like major performance losses. The biggest update with the M3 line and Apple's new MacBook Pro laptops is the fact that the M3 Max is basically almost 50% faster than the M2 Max, which is pretty crazy to know that these performance gains are just jumping up in these numbers and these computers are just getting so much faster. And I'm still on M1 Pro and I'm still enjoying the process, man. I'm loving it. Now that Apple did update their new laptops today and I do feel like the M3 Max is probably the best laptop for music production. You get up to 12 performance cores, which is pretty crazy. And the fact that it's on a three nanometer chip, which is supposed to be extremely more efficient, way more than any chip you ever use. Using less power, getting way more performance. I can honestly say this is a really great deal, man. I'm happy the fact that Apple finally updated this, but what are some of the things they didn't tell you? When you're joining the MacBook Pro lineup at $1,600, you are losing a port if you're coming in from the M2 line up to the M3. That 14 inch does come with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which honestly, I don't think is really great for music production because you're gonna need you know MIDI ports. You're gonna need accessories and stuff like that. You're gonna need some a port for your audio interface. You know what I'm saying? That is a big deal. If you're getting into the music production world, you know, you're gonna want at least a minimum of three ports. You can buy a couple of like USB hubs and stuff like that, and that might be able to help you. But sometimes you don't wanna do the hub route. Sometimes you wanna directly plug in your MIDI ports, directly plug in your interface to get the lowest amount of latency. So, you know, having less ports could bring in some latency issues. But on a three nanometer chip, this could be a non-existing issue. You know, we, we don't know, we have to see. With my experience with the N1 Pro computers, you know, I honestly don't really feel like I need to upgrade. I want to upgrade, but I really don't need to. And, you know, then it comes into factor like, should you even be buying the M3 for music production? You know, you can definitely buy an M1 Pro and have great results. I've been using that right now and I've been making music with it for a while, ever since it came out. And you know, yeah, you can get an M2 computer and that's probably gonna do even better. But the overall question is, what is your overall budget to spend on a laptop? Like, are you down to buy the newest, latest and greatest? Or are you okay with just getting the M1 Pro? 
Let me know in the comments what laptop are you currently using for music production. If you do comment, you're entering a giveaway for the Kali Audio INUNF, which is some really great budget studio monitors, and you'd be happy to have these in your studio just by commenting and subscribing to the channel and hit that like button, I appreciate it. Really exciting day for Apple users like myself. You know, I almost feel like I get a new laptop, especially when they drop a laptop that looks exactly like the one I already have. So, you know what I'm saying? Somebody can look at my laptop but don't even know that it's not even the newest and latest and greatest. You know what I'm saying? Because Apple just doesn't really update designs like that or whatever. But hey, you know, they got a new color. You know, if you wanna look like you got a new laptop, get the new color. Make sure you guys add me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. You guys stay safe. Peace.